walk away and increase your magnetism, they will chase you. Namaste, my friends. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. I'd like to thank you for stopping by to manifest with me today. In this video, I want to share with you how you can walk away from your specific person. Maybe you're in a situation to where they're not fully committing themselves to you. Maybe they're kind of giving you crumbs along the way. Maybe they haven't been very respectful to you. Should you walk away? Is it good to walk away or should you continue to, you know, try to get their attention? Try to have them be in their life. What is it that you need to do? I wanna to talk to you about that in this video today. Before we get started though, enrollment is still happening for my seven day Neville Goddard Manifestation Mastery course. If you're interested in learning Neville Goddard's best manifestation techniques in the next seven days, this is an extremely powerful sought after course. It's available just for the next couple days. Enrollment is going on right now. There's a link in the top of the description box below. Click it, sign up before all spots are filled. I know you are gonna love it. Okay, so here comes the big problem when we have our specific person and maybe we're not receiving contact from them, right? Maybe they're ghosting us in a way, or maybe they're sometimes texting us or sometimes getting in touch with us when it's convenient for them, uh, but then they're not, or they kind of are leaving the crumbs along the way. And the problem is when that happens, usually we're waiting around for them. Usually we're saying, hey, 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 over here. Usually we are chasing them when they aren't fully committing to us. We are going in this 3D reality and we're trying to get our, their attention. We're texting them more. We're social media stalking them. We're trying to get in touch with them. Every time we receive a message, we respond instantly to it. Even though they might you know, have friend zoned us or whatever the case is. It's very easy for us to chase. It's very easy for us to, you know, again, wave our arms and say, hey, over here, over here, show me the attention, show me the attention. But when we do that, what happens? We're in a state of lack. We're in a state of neediness. We're in a state of desperation. We're in a state of worry. And when we're feeling those, we're looking at the situation around us. We're saying, this is the truth. My specific person maybe doesn't want to be with me. I need to try hard to get to them. I need to try hard to get their attention. And we manifest that reality. We manifest that reality where we almost repel them further away. They want nothing to do with us. We're needy, we're desperate, we're trying to make changes in the 3D and it's not working out for us, nor will it ever work out for us. I don't know if I've ever heard a single success story ever uh, where their specific, someone's specific person was ignoring them and so they texted them just a whole lot more and the specific person's like, okay, great, we'll be together. It's not how it happens. When we chase, we repel them further away. When we chase, we tell this story to where we're not good enough for them, to where we don't have their full attention, to where we have to take a lot of action to get to them. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. We're very powerful. You are very powerful. And it's time to really bring up that power and understand that there's nothing in the 3D that you can do to change what's going on. We have to change it from the inside. And so this idea of walking away is a lot of power, is very powerful. And when I say the term walk away, I mean, create some space, right? I'm not saying walk away and never manifest a specific person ever. Just create some space. Don't chase them anymore. Suddenly when you do that, your own value goes up because you know you don't have to chase anybody. You don't have to go anywhere. Your specific person's coming for you. The more work you're putting into the 3D, the more you're, you're making this troublesome for yourself, the more you're not going to get your specific person. This takes no effort in the 3D. It all comes back to us. What we're feeling in here, what we're creating in here, and what we believe to be true in here. And so as soon as we detach and we say, I'm not gonna chase anymore, I'm gonna take a few steps back, I'm gonna walk away a little bit, boom, our value goes up, boom, our attraction goes up, boom, our magnetism, goes up because suddenly we understand we don't have to take any action out here. We create it from the inside. And when we start to believe to be true what we create on the inside, it will come true. It will take place in 3D reality. Check out this quote from Neville Goddard. Stop trying to change the world since it's only a mirror. Leave the mirror and change the face. Leave the world alone and change your concepts of yourself. Okay, so don't give a lick of attention to what's going on in the 3D. Take a step back, walk away from it, okay? And work on you, work on your self-concept, work on building yourself up to be 
wildly attractive and magnetic. Someone who is a powerful creator, someone who doesn't, again, have to go anywhere because everything they want comes right to them. I'm telling you, when you do that, the world changes. It's only a mirror reflecting what you're feeling in here. So if you start creating the story and you say, I am wildly attractive. My specific person can't get enough of me. They contact me on a regular basis. They are obsessed with me. What's not to love about me? I'm so unique. I'm magnificent. I'm incredible. I'm intelligent. And I'm a powerful creator at that. Guess what starts to happen? The more you tell yourself that, the more you believe that, and your reality will reflect it. Your specific person will start chasing you. Your specific person will say, wow, I am obsessed with this person. I do wanna be with this person. I can't stop thinking about this person. And they will start to miss you and they will start to chase you. But this all starts from the simple idea that do not try to change the world. It's only a mirror. It's only a mirror telling you what you believe. Change your beliefs inside. Change the way you see yourself and your specific person will chase you the reflection will take place in the 3D reality. That is how you walk away. That is how you become powerful. And that is how you get your specific person to chase you. If you wanna be your specific person's priority over anybody and anything else, I share with you exactly what you need to do in this video right here. So be sure to check it out next.